Rob, um, one nil against Rotherham today, three points. You must be delighted. How do you assess that performance? Yeah, absolutely delighted and so proud of the lads. Like incredibly proud of this group. Um, we had two keepers on the bench today because we're down to bare bones through dead legs and suspensions or whatever else it might be. So um, yeah, it was uh, just a, just a game of two halves because of the conditions. Uh, conditions were horrendous. So, mm. but what I thought well, we didn't get caught into in the first half, we didn't get caught into trying to use the wind and playing too direct. We actually, you know, we moved the ball so well. Some of our play and our patterns were brilliant. I asked the lads after Bristol Rovers and the previous performances, can we get more crossings in? Can we get to our crossing zones? Can we keep the width? And we did that really well. And the goal comes from it. Fantastic ball in, a fantastic finish from Swanee. So it's good to see the fruition. But uh, the, sorry, the fruition of everything we're trying to work on. Still not perfect, but the lads have taken it and they're trying and you know we'll get better and better as we go. Uh, and then second half, you always knew they're, they're direct anyway. But with the wind with them and obviously with them struggling at the moment, you know it's going to be even more direct with the Hugo etc coming on the bench. So off the bench, so yeah, the way we weathered the storm, Jojo made a couple of brilliant saves. Charlie Barker was outstanding. Um, Joy McKenna has gone about his business, but he's been absolutely incredible. Toby Malaki at the end, you know, just I, I'm going to name all of them. I will yeah. name all of them, but they're all <laughs> incredible. The subs that come on, so um, yeah, just really pleased. You know, showed what we can be in terms of possession and the way we play first half and where we're trying to get to. It's not perfect, but we're getting there. And then probably a current continuation from Bristol Rovers. And then um, second half was just all fight. It was about fight, it was about desire, it was about determination, about dealing with the conditions, dealing with the balls in the box. And, you know, Max Harness and Jeremy Kelly in the middle there. Pan Kamara, he's running, is just incredible. And he's, and he's some of his touches and, mm -hmm. yeah, just uh, just exceptional. And then, yeah, I thought Swanee, you know, deserved the goal. I thought he played really well, I thought he was excellent. So, um, no. Yeah, it's, it, I don't want to get too carried away. I always say not too high, not too low, but you've got to give the lads praise, not just for today, but that was a that was a that result was because of the last four or five games. You know, mm. I think that's six unbeaten, one in six or something like that, and that's what happens. You can't just go from A to A to Z. You've got to go through the stages, and the lads have done that really well. Yeah, and as you said, there's I think it's three clean sheets in the last four as well in the league. I mean, obviously, you haven't got the likes of Dion Conroy, Josh Flint, who players that some people might think would be first choice. But as you already mentioned, Toby, Joy and Charlie have been a magnificent, haven't they? Yeah. And, you know, they're getting their opportunities for whatever reason. And then they're taking it and they have three clean sheets in four. You can see one open goal in four games. Uh, one, well, sorry, one goal from open play in four games. The set pieces we're trying to get better at. You know, not perfect, we're getting better at. Um, and yeah, just, just really proud of them and taking pride in, you know, being solid, being at being a good in possession team but out of possession also taking pride in that you know we don't want to be we don't want to be one dimensional we want to try and have every facet of the game that we can control and be uh, as good as we can be at each of them because we're not only trying to survive and develop as a club we're trying to develop these players and help the players who are young and experienced to get better and you know, play at the highest level they can and uh, you know pushing the club forward every single day yeah and we obviously you mentioned bare bones there we saw Ronan Darcy Jeremy Kelly and um, Will Swan sort of playing different positions that we haven't seen them play this season so far just shows the adapt adaptability of the players you've got, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Das, he's always, he's very good from the outside in the wings, good in 1v1s and uh, with Rushy, you know, Rushy had a bit of an issue this week so with his hammy, so we didn't want to risk him. Um, but then, yeah, putting Swanee and Toller deserved his chance as well and I thought he did excellent in the first 60 minutes or so. I thought he was, uh, you know, he, he, it's a big step up for him and he and then he scored goals and he deserves the opportunity. And I thought Swanee having, playing in the 10, I think he's someone that could be a 10 eventually who can jump into the nine because his energy and his, and his timing of runs are brilliant and it comes with the goal, you know, such good timing of arrival. Uh, Jeremy Kelly, you know, technically one of the best players I've ever worked with at any level. Really? Genuinely incredible. Um, so, so much game understanding. I think the way he controlled the game, his defensive actions uh, and some of his passing and his decision making was fantastic. And um, yeah, and then as always, uh, Max Anderson quietly goes about his business, but it's been exceptional since I've come in. Uh, and Pan Kamara just gone to show why, you know, despite all the unfortunate injuries he's had, why he was been at the levels he has. And I think Pan's getting back to where we want him to be. So yeah, again, I just end up going through all the lads again, but um, yeah. just they're all, what, what I can only, why I said I'm so proud of them, what I'm pleased with is they're, out, they're doing what we're asking. Uh, it's not perfect, it's not clean all the time, but we're getting there and I think we're starting to see the pictures that we want to get to. Yeah, and um, the results sort of gone, you've mostly gone your way today. You're out of the relegation zone. How much of a boost is that, just seeing that in the table? I think so, yeah. I haven't checked myself yet, but yeah, no, it is because um, the players deserve that. You know, when you're in a fight and you obviously have six games or five, six games without winning, uh, and then you obviously then start turning it around and you don't maybe, you know, we wanted to win again, we obviously 
could have won Bristol Rovers, Burton, Huddersfield was a bit of a different game. They're next their excellent, to be fair. And we, mm. Again, we showed a different side to us to get through the point. But yeah, it's good for the players to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel and you know, there's a little reward for them in a 10-day break till the, uh, till the Charlton game where we hopefully we'll stay there and um, we can push on from there. But it doesn't mean that we cracked it. doesn't mean we're not going to get popped back into the bottom four. Hopefully we don't and we'll work on that. But it just shows that if the lads work hard, stick to the messages and... Um, do, do the work that we're asking for each other, especially then they'll uh, they'll be successful. Yeah, you have got the FA Cup to look forward to now. A bit of a br- like a week's break. How important is that break, and how important is the FA Cup? But how much can that give to the club? Well, it's massive, isn't it? Like you know, we are one of the smaller clubs, so you know the reward of getting through the second round, maybe getting a Premier League club home away, whatever it might be, is good, and it's a good plant chance to showcase us. Lincoln, probably the best team we played this year, if I'm being honest. Lincoln and Huddersfield since I've been in charge. Mm. So we know it's going to be a tough game. Their squad depth is incredible. Uh, they've got some really good players. So we know that's going to be a really tough game. We're down to the bare bones as it is. We've got the Charlton game on the Tuesday. So it's, we're going to have to try and manage players. We have to try and uh, try and win the game with an eye on Tuesday. So we make sure we get the balance right like we did against Maidenhead. Um, but we'll, let's just let's worry about that Monday, Tuesday <laughs> to be honest with you yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how the lads are Dallas is just the kick to be honest with you he just got studied down his Achilles so he should yeah. be fine um, yeah and uh, Addy added a bit of a whack and a dead calf who, who, Addy, who was excellent as well coming in for yeah. Harry Forster so yeah um, we'll just we'll, we'll worry about that Monday, Tuesday yeah last one from me um, Ed, Eddie coming back into the squad does that mean they give a chance for Jasper to go out on loan again now or? yeah we really hope so yeah. uh, obviously Eddie's just only training with us uh, one or two days so we want to make sure he's absolutely fine mm. um such a brilliant character Adam at Gateshead obviously mm. uh, he's infectious and he's lit up the place already in two three days so and uh, and then obviously you know the competition the goalkeepers mm. is brilliant Jojo was exceptional today the save in the first half and the save in the second half is yeah he's top class um, mm. and, and I think what Jojo Jojo's really starting to understand the pictures that we're asking from him he's working really hard with Chris Dixon who's uh, to be honest with you is one of the best goalie coaches I've seen and worked mm. with um and again, people do work behind the scenes at this club that doesn't always get the credit. And Chris is definitely one of them. So um, no, really pleased with that. Clean sheets, you know, it's not just, it shows that, you know, we need everyone. It was Connell, it was Jojo. Um, we need all these lads to keep us clean sheets and working as units and departments and as a team is how we're going to get there. Brilliant, thanks Rob. Um, obviously you've been managing for not too long now. Have you found your journey so far from like Gateshead to now? Yeah, it's not something I've had any intention to go into. You know, as a technical director, and obviously with Mike leaving it, the continuality that we wanted to keep at Gateshead. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a buzz today. And then you know, the step up to League One, playing against teams that are tough. You know, tactically, technically, trying to understand if we can how we break them down, how we work. It takes longer to break teams down because they're more professional, etc. Uh, playing against better players. But um, no, I'm enjoying it, and and I'm start, I, I can honestly say the first, the second half. At, um, Bristol and the first half today I genuinely enjoy myself like genuinely enjoy myself because I could see the lads sort of showcasing themselves but in the way we've asked them to and obviously yeah the the second half is just in the conditions is horrendous so and I think that showed a different side to this team and it's one that I'd be you know I'm kind of more proud about how we've got through the second half uh, and still causing them problems because of the directness and the, the conditions etc so no it, it's tough it's different you know I'm very open to the fact that I'm inexperienced in terms of managerial stuff I just have to rely on, on, on my career and the experience I had at all the different levels to try and sort of like solidify my beliefs and make sure that you know, I don't come away from them too far because you know what brings success is consistency and understanding strengths and and also you know, understanding the strengths of this team and the strengths of this team is that we're a fantastic in possession team who are now becoming good out of possession and we need to make sure we maintain both of those and uh, obviously if you could manage any team in the world who would it be? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, do you know what? I genuinely don't even think like that. I'm not just yeah. saying it. I genuinely don't because I, I genuinely enjoy the journey here. This isn't this isn't a managerial job. It's a project. You yeah. know, it is it, it, with the club and everything we're doing. You know, uh, and I'm enjoying the challenge. It's stressful. Don't get me wrong. It's been six, seven weeks now, so it's really stressful. But um, it's an enjoyable, stressful. I'm enjoying working with people, and I'm enjoying the ups <laughs> and the downs because you know I've got to learn like people got to learn about me I've got to learn about other people I've got to learn about players staff and everything and all I can say is I'm just thankful to everyone at the club from the very top to the bottom in, the, in bringing us here but also in trusting what we're trying to do and, and having that patience to get us to that point Cheers Charlie um, really good win today um, what's your reaction to the win and had the assessment of the performance Yeah really good I thought we played some really good football in the first half uh, it was a tough second half against the wind mm. it was tough to get out at times but we stood up to the challenge defended our box really well yeah, it's a really important three points. It's got you out of the relegation zone. How how much of a boost is that just seeing the table and seeing you out of that zone? 
Yeah, massive. I think the last few weeks we've been good. Um, three draws. We probably deserved a bit more. So now to uh, put a win in there. Last four league games had some really good results. So it's really positive. Yeah, and I think it's four clean, three clean sheets out of the last four in the league. That must be really pleasing. In how how you're playing with Joy and Toby. Yeah, it just shows like we've come a long way because we were conceding a lot of goals and like, we looked at ourselves and said we need to sort that out. So I think last four games, I think we've done that really well. Yeah, and since you've come in, you've sort of had to bide your time a little bit. I mean, injuries have meant that you, you've been playing in there, but you must be really pleased with how you're performing personally, especially today. Yeah, it's just uh, it's nice to get the chance. And then when the chance came, I just I was trying to make the most of it and try and keep my place in the team. Yeah, have you sent a message to, da to your dad yet? <laughs> no, I haven't spoke to him yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was, is it quite pleasing to get one over Rotherham? Yeah, 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 I think he'll be quite happy with that one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Excellent. And you've got um, a midweek break now, um, looking ahead to the FA Cup. How exciting is it to play in the FA Cup, knowing that there's the incentive if you win, you could get a big draw in the next round? Yeah, second round in the FA Cup is always a massive game because the potential of uh, the third game, you never know what you could get. So it's always an ex exciting day and it's just uh, anything can happen on an FA Cup day. Everyone knows that. So let's hope we can get the win. Yeah, and uh, Rob Elliott's been saying that you're down to bare bones at the moment, lots of injuries and that. How Can you talk about how good the squad is together and getting behind each other now and we, what we saw today? Yeah, it just shows the players we're missing at the moment. Obviously, Junior out, Flinty, we've lost uh, Harry, we've got loads, four, five, six out, and it just shows with that many players out how we can still go out, put a performance on. And I think that just shows how well everyone knows their jobs, even if they're not in the team, they know what they have to do when they come into the team and everyone's fighting for a place now. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you. <clears throat>